Let's have a look at multiplying with exponents. If we want to calculate 2 cubed times 2 squared, obviously we can say 2 cubed is 8, 2 squared is 4, and when we multiply them together, we get 32. But we want to have a look at this using our understanding of exponential notation. So, we start by saying 2 cubed, we know, is 2 times 2 times 2, and 2 squared is 2 times 2, and so we can count up and see we've got 5 2's all multiplied together, so that's 2 to the 5. But we could, in fact, have actually worked this out straight from the start, that we'd have 2 to the 5, because we could see that what we have is 3 2's all multiplied together, and then we multiply those with a further two twos. And so in total, we'll have three plus two, which is five twos all multiplied together. So our answer will be two to the five, which is 32. Okay, so if we look at the same thing now with letters, um, if we want to do a cubed times a to the five, a cubed is just three a's multiplied together and a to the 5 is 5 a's multiplied together. And so in total, we can count it up and see easily we've got 8 a's multiplied together. But as I said last time, you can actually just see this straight from the start. You can see what you've got is 3 a's multiplied together, and then you multiply those with a further 5 a's, so you've got 3 plus 5, which is 8 a's, all multiplied together. And as we work further with this, we're actually not going to need to do that step at all. We're going to be able to sort of think it through immediately in our head and just say a cubed times a to the 5 is 3 a's multiplied together and then a further 5 a's multiplied with them. So what I'm going to have is 3 plus 5 a's all multiplied together and that's a to the 8. So we can summarize that as a rule, a to the m times a to the n is equal to a to the m plus n. So let's look at that with some examples. For example, a to the 4 times a to the 6 is just equal to a to the 4 plus 6, which is a to the 10. Why is that? Well, a to the 4, 4 a's multiplied together. a to the 6, 6 a's multiplied together. And so when you multiply all those together, you're going to end up with 4 a's and another 6 a's, which is 10 a's all multiplied together. And obviously there's nothing magical about a. We could just as well do this with b's. So if we looked at b to the 13 times b, the one thing here you want to just remember is if you've just got a plain old b, it means that you've only got one b, so it's b to the power of 1. And so we get b to the 13 times b to the 1. Well, you've got 13 b's and one further b multiplied together, so you've got in total 13 plus 1 b's multiplied together. In other words, b to the power of 14. Just a quick note of caution. If you've got different bases, so you've got a to the 3 and b to the 5, you know, can you do something and say 3 plus 5 is 8 and, and something with that? Well, if you just write it out, you'll see no, you can't. a cubed, a times a times a, and b to the 5, 5 b's multiplied together, you can't go and say there's either 8 a's or 5 or, or 8 b's or there's nothing you can do to try and combine those two. So you can't do anything. It's a cubed times b to the power of 5. No simplification possible.